So what are the stories that have gone under the radar this week? Uh, Podrick, what's yours? Um, I've come up with a rather grim woman, for, I'm afraid, um, saying that the the hole over the and the ozone layer over the Antarctic, which I sort of thought we'd fixed, has actually started growing bigger this summer than apparently it grows every year and then shrinks again. But this summer it started growing a lot earlier and a lot faster than it used to, which is all down to apparently a, um, a volcano explosion um, near Tonga. Um, but it's got, it potentially has massive ramifications for the southern oceans because already the ice caps you know, on the Antarctic are quite at record lows. We could see flooding you know, into the Pacific, um, which is you know going to become you know is already a big issue. So that's something that is really quite grim. There is interestingly there is a case uh, which is coming up in a few months' time to establish that this that lack of action on climate ch- on, on climate change is a direct contravention of the human rights of South Sea Islanders. Um, and I think something like this, which is partially due to climate change, partly due to natural, natural phenomena, will really feed into to the, the alarm over that case. Uh, Rachel, what's yours? And I understand you've oh. got something a little bit lighter <laughs> to come to after that. I can't segue. Bounce. I'm not going to try and segue. Okay, there's got to be some sort of link. I mean, climate uh, change is big. It's got a huge thing. There's got to be a connection here. It's about animals, which is okay. to do with, you know, in the environment, climate. Mm, not really. BBC headline, urban foxes bolder but not smarter than rural ones. Study suggests they've actually studied this. Uh, scientists at Hull University set a whole lot of puzzles for rural foxes and urban foxes to test if the if the urban ones were smarter. Apparently, all foxes are really stupid. None of the, none of the foxes were able to do the puzzles, but it just allows me to talk about the family of foxes that are where I live. Um, they've just had fox cubs. They're very, very, very cute. So they, cute they, they? they love humans. They're super curious. But I came back late on Saturday night to find three of them just chilling out, hanging around. And the fourth one was curled up asleep on the roof of a car, <laughs> just like a cat. They are cat software running on dog hardware. I love foxes. They're amazing. Don't write in and tell me that they, you know, rummage through bins and spread diseases and kill chickens. I don't want to know. I love foxes. Yeah, there was one basking in the sun on the table in the garden the other day, and then for some annoying reason, the dog the dog came in. Like he had been taken out for a walk, came in, and I was just like, don't piss this fox off. He's having a really nice time and then was just straight up at the window. <laughs> fox terrified. And I just thought, come on, you've got a home. The fox doesn't have a home. It was just having a nice little bit of joy. Nice in day there. Uh, Seth, what's yours? Uh, this is a weird story. The comedian Joe Pascal has impaled himself on a moose's antlers in Skegness. Um, you couldn't make it up. No, he, he was doing a show and two of his props were Moose's antlers and he'd shoved them backstage and then in the dark he tripped over and impaled oh. himself and he's lucky to be alive but he will pull through. I thought it was completely made up because it was on the front page of the star but it turns out it's entirely true. Gosh, uh, I mean, just I've been to Skegness many a time in my life and maybe that's an indication of don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my one is going to be actually that... Donald Trump is going to face potentially more charges next week from the Fulton County District Attorney. And I just think it's important that we keep talking about this yeah. because if that were to, if that had happened in isolation, it would be monumentally huge. But he's just kind of done, it's like his whole fill the zone with shit and people will ignore it tactic is happening with his, his legal travails at this point. There is so much going on that it's being completely ignored. And I, I hope it doesn't start to just sort of fade down to to background noise.